Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Iris's image maps. Since this feature is kind of counterintuitive and not documented as well um, in the VS Code auto completions, I've decided to make a video on this. Um, and to do so, I've created one simple dimension. Uh, as you can see here on the right in my Minecraft screen, uh, this is the dimension I've created. So there are uh, four biomes in three different regions. And you have the desert region with the desert biome. You have the tropical region with the tropical biome. And you have the mountain region with the mountain biome. Then besides this, you have in all of those regions a desert biome. So how does it look? So you have uh, a desert biome with sand, mountain biome with stone, ocean biome with red sand, and a tropical biome with grass blocks. Then you have three regions. And they have their own land biome, which is the desert for this case, uh, as a land biome and shore biome. And then as a sea biome, they have ocean. It's the same for all three of them. Then for, uh, for just showing this, I've used simple simplex noise, um, which gives you nice mountains and then some water, um, just to show how that, how that looks. Then, getting into the images. Here, if you hover over this, you have a gen style. And then here's the same thing, a gen style. It's just a different name, same thing. For generators, it's the same. This is a noise generator. And this here is a gen style. And in this gen style, for all of them, you have a setting called image map. And what that image map does is it replaces this style yeah, with a style or a, a noise derived from an image. Okay, so how does that work? Let's go and replace this one with an image map. If you specify both, it'll just take the image map, by the way. Okay, we have this image map. Let's uh, pick an image first. So this is a continent, so that's the ocean, right? Continents, ocean, uh, really simple. So let's take this uh, this ocean image map, and this ocean image map look like this. looks like this. Quite simple. Then uh, to show what it does, I'm going to turn on tiled. What it does is it re repeats itself over and over and over. So how does that look? IRS uh, noise. Um, uh, let's see, map. Okay. Then if we look here, we already see this. So if we go to biome land, um, biome C, sorry. Let's see if that's... Yeah, okay, let's just take this, uh, this preview. So here we have our giant circles of, uh, of ocean, right? So that's what we just specified. Now there's still some ocean in here. Uh, which we'll uh, which we'll get rid of soon. Um, but as we can see, this is way too big to explore. There's a uh, hundreds of, maybe even a thousand blocks in, in diagonal. So let's uh, uh, let's zoom out on this. So this is still the same as uh, as what you're used to. Um, so this is basically just a style or a, a noise, and you can just still use all of the other things that you're used to, even fracturing, multiplying, exponents, uh, all, all that jazz. Still the same thing. Okay, we've hot loaded, uh, and now the circles are already uh, significantly smaller. As you can see, you're, there's just circles everywhere. So let's explore a little bit. Okay, uh, I think this is old. Oops, don't look at that yet. <laughs> uh, okay, new chunks, please. Okay. So what, what can we see here? We see that the ocean has disappeared completely. Why is that? Well, that's probably because I've zoomed in a bit too far. And then the, uh, the compressing replaces the ocean. So let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Now we have our nice circles back. Okay. Beautiful circles. So what we're going to try to make is simple islands in the middle of these circles. But uh, since this circle now is, is wrong, kind of, uh, because we want to make an island. So instead of making circular uh, water bodies, we want to make uh, circular land bodies. So what can we then do? We can take this and do inverted, oops, inverted to true. And what this does is it just inverts the noise. Uh, then on top of this, we are going to use a channel. So if we go back to this image, we have red here, right? So very red and then black around the outside. But the rest, uh, so green and blue are always zero everywhere. So we're going to specify red for the channel. 
So we click through over the other channels that are here. So it's red, blue, and green that are already there. And then there's a couple other ones, which is uh, brightness, U, and saturation for uh, HSB. And there's a couple of composites, which uh, do some kind of arithmetic on all channels. So adding RGB just adds up our uh, red, green, and blue. And maximization is the same, and multiplication is, is the same, uh, but for different operations. So let's, uh, let's take a red channel again. Okay, if we now explore again, what do we see? We see what we just had, but inversed, right? Simple as, simple as. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, just so we can uh, see our changes a little bit easier. Less, uh, less chunks. No. Well, I didn't like that zoom, so I'm just going to zoom back out again. Uh, zooming two small images is not uh, a great idea. What is then better to do is to uh, make your actual image file a, a smaller pixel by pixel size. Okay, let's get back to working. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a region style um, the same way as we want to place our our uh, our little regions on the island. So let's go back to make an image map. Uh, we're just going to take image. Uh, regions i'll show you what it has in the meantime tile is true again inverted we'll have to see if that is needed or not uh, but we do uh, for sure need the channel set to red again okay let's take a look at our regions so before i continue i'm going to explain a little bit of intuitivity to you um, first okay um i'm going to remove this because i changed this just oops i want to select please thank you paint uh okay so why is this black now cool so what do we want to do we want to have uh an island and on that island uh we first want water on the outside that's not water this is water uh i'm bad at drawing circles okay it's a mouse so we have uh the water on the outside of the island then the next one we want is a uh, desert around the shore right to uh, mimic beaches then we want our tropical biome, which I'm going to do up with green because it's grass blocks. And then we want a mountain in the middle. Simple as. Okay. So let's open the image we have. And uh, I'll put them down here in the corner uh, while I keep this here. Um, okay, we have three regions here in the circle or in the regions list. So what is actually going to happen when we pick a certain RGB value in the image? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to take um, one of these biomes, depending on what noise it gets at that position. So what we've currently done is we've loaded the regions image. So it has black around the outside and red uh, at the middle. So black has a R value of zero and red has an R value of 255, which are the extremes. So if we explore now, we can see that um, uh, the deserts are uh, are taken for the islands. So the islands are, are completely desert. So what does this tell us? Well, that tells us that if it's red, right, max RGB value, then it takes the bottom one. Okay. So let's go back to this image here. So we have in order, uh, we have... Um, this is getting annoying. So we have in order our mountains region, our tropical region, and then our desert region. Okay. So as we see, when it's red, so max 255, it takes the ocean or the desert region. So that gets an RGB value of 255. Then uh, the middle one is going to be 128, and the top one is going to be zero. Of course, what would happen if you take RGB value, for example, um, 64? Um, well, I'm not entirely sure on that because depending on rounding, it will either become a tropical region or a mountain region. So what if we pick 63, for example? Oh, nice. So what if we pick 63, for example? Then it will definitely go to the uh, mountains region because this has uh, a rounding function in it. So it just maps it to this. And if we take 65 then it's going to take it up to the tropical region. And it's the same for, I don't know, one, 150 
it'll go to the tropical region and 230 it'll go to the desert region okay let's get back to your image so in this image we have a uh, rgb skill so let's take our 128 rgb so that's for uh, the tropical region let's take that on both here and here get ourselves a circle with a fill and then we're just gonna make a nice circle uh, around the center here let's see if i can keep the zoom the same that would be nice okay might be the case that my outside circle is already screwed up but hey, who cares there we go it doesn't have to be too precise uh, for this tutorial uh okay let's save this let's go back to our world let's give it a hot loads because ours is not, in, not capable of detecting your uh, images from changing okay oh this is old i think oh i know what's going on well as we can see it's doing some weird things we're like huh why is it doing what it's doing well then we're gonna have to look back at uh, at what's different right because the size of this image is 64 pixels by 64 pixels and it's the same for the other one for the oceans one so then we've probably made a mistake with our zooming, and that's exactly what's going on. So we've missed the zoom here. So let's zoom in again here. And then if we move forward, we should see the circles already nicely appearing. Cool. Okay. Um, you can see some artifacts around the edges, right? Well, this is because um, when you're zooming into your image, you're going to get some kind of uh, compression kind of anti-aliasing so what's actually happening in the image is it doing a gradient from the very high red value here uh, and then down to the black area around it so how are we going to stop that in this case uh, what we're going to do is just make this outside area red oh, red as well okay let's save that give it a hot load so why can i do this so easily why does that not change everything? Well, that's because um, the, um, the ocean image is taken first. So since we have the same ocean in all of our regions, it doesn't matter which region is actually placed here where the ocean is going. Right? Okay. So now we have our islands. Beautiful circle that's not entirely centered, as we could see in the image as well. Uh, but now we still don't have mountains, of course. So what are we going to do? We're going to add mountains. And mountains, since they're at the top of the list uh, here, they get a zero value, as we talked about just now. They get zero. So let's take black and then make a new circle with that black color. Take the center. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, hit save on that. Hot load. And then almost immediately we should see our mountain areas appearing in the center of our islands. Okay, very nice. And there you go, that's, uh, that's image maps. Um, there is one more setting um, that I haven't, or a couple more settings that I haven't talked about. So centered, what this does is if you're, for example making a image noise map for your spawn area only, so from around zero, zero, then you can do centered set to true, and then it'll uh, then it'll start by taking the middle of the image at zero zero instead of the top left of the image at zero zero. Okay. Uh, then we have coordinate scale, and what coordinate scale does it can allow it can allow you to uh, zoom in and out. Okay. So what does this do? If you have um, if you have uh, five in here, for example then every pixel on here will represent five blocks until you zoom, right? Because the zoom is still going to override that. So if you put five here and then you put uh, 0 0.2 here, then it will be the same as the image, right? So every pixel will be one block. Uh, but if you put five there and you put the one, one zoom here, then every block in the picture will be uh, five blocks in the world. Okay. Change that back to what we were at. And then we have an interpolation method. And what this interpolation method does is it um, 
um, it interpolates between the um, uh, it interpolates between the different areas of the uh, map itself. So it's actual uh, added noise onto the uh, noise that already exists. So let me just take. A okay, uh, sorry for the random cut there, but um. I was going on a tangent and decided to cut it out. Uh, it didn't add much value anymore. So um, one thing to also consider is, um, for example, generators. That's the one I've uh, made here. So with generators, you can do the same thing with image maps. And instead of having a specific thing that's mapping to it, this is just the height that you're going to get. Uh, okay, so that's it for me. If you have any questions about this, you can of course send messages in Discord and uh, either uh, next door me or one of the other support members will, uh, will help you out with that. Uh, and then I wish you a lot of fun with making maps with this. Um, some of the examples that I've, uh, that I've already created for other people were, for example, Lord of the Rings map based on the actual original Lord of the Rings biomes and uh, Maya and, um, and um, topog topological layout, um, as well as a couple of other projects that were, uh, that were really fun to make. So I hope you enjoy. Goodbye.